Hello there and welcome to the fifth world in Sonic CD, Wacky Workbench. Uh, now, I should point out that from here on the videos are going to get a lot longer. Uh, and... Yeah. You can already tell this is going to take a while, if you've seen the video length. Now, this level is a lot of fun. Well, this world is a lot of fun. The boss isn't, but the first two stages are. Not least because of the bouncy floor. And... Yeah, I'm just going to spend the next couple of minutes trying to get out of this situation right here. Um... I should probably mention that those things at the side you see, the um, things with the glowy rings, if you touch those rings when they start flashing different colours, I'll point that out in a little while. Okay, so they're lighting up, and yeah, touch them when they're like that and you lose your rings. Touch them again when you haven't got any rings and you die. It's not what you call convenient. And then you've got electricity that can kill you. You've got um, turbine things that shoot freezing air out of them and kill you. It, this, this place is basically one big death trap when you think about it. Of course, it's not the biggest death trap in the game. That's not until later much later final level in the game later uh, uh, you've also got these platforms here that yeah alternate jumping on them and they raise you up higher switches that open doors as switches normally do in these type of game yeah, I can't think of anything to say about this level, really. The floor's bouncy and can really screw you over. The badniks are bouncy and can really screw you over. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of stuff in these levels designed to kill you, basically. Uh, fortunately, that's pretty much the end of the stage. Uh, yeah. Goalpost, finally. You don't have to hear me go on and on about that anymore. Um, so yeah. Moving on to Zone 2 now. These levels do take a while. <laughs> uh, th this is my favourite out of the three zones. It just feels a lot more fast paced than the previous one. Uh, loads of new features in this one as well, like this spinny wheel here. Uh, if you hit a time gate before that and then enter it, it makes a really good way of um, just getting to the time period you set it to. Uh, damn those glowy ring guys! Uh, yeah, this is another new feature. Uh, <laughs> I can't really think of anything else to say about this level. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's, this is one of those jets I was te I was mentioning. Touch that, you get frozen, and there's a chance you'll lose all your rings, and yeah, like that basically. 
no. more of the spinny wheel things. Really awesome music for this level as well. I've, I've said, I know I've said this before, but the soundtrack in this game is phenomenal. Uh, anyone who's played Sonic Gems Collection on the GameCube or the PS2 will probably be more familiar with the American soundtrack. I've honestly never played Sonic CD before I got it on the Xbox, which is this version here. Uh, but I've heard a lot of the music online, in Sonic Generations, in um, uh, Sonic Green was in Super Smash Bros. Brutal. That's the main theme for the American version. Anyway, oh and um, the main thing for the Japanese version called You Can Do Anything was originally going to be in Brawl, but they had to cut it for reasons I don't know why. Anyway, uh, as I was about to say, boss stage right here. You've still got the annoying bouncy floor. And this boss is pretty difficult. Uh, these things don't actually kill you, the little bits of rubble. The blocks can crush you. Uh, anyway, it's pretty easy once you get used to it, but as you can probably tell by the length of this video, things don't really go as planned. I'll just stop talking now and let you enjoy the rest of the failure that is to come. Oh yeah, and spikes fall on you at that stage. Stupid block. Woo! <laughs> 
Anyway, now that I've defeated the boss, I can honestly say I will not miss playing this stage. So, that wraps up Wacky Workbench, Zones 1, 2 and 3. I will see you next time when we take on the Stardust Speedway.